Danny Lightning here, and today we're going to talk about how to set the gain properly on your USB microphone or your audio interface. First, we're going to set it up to give you really good recording quality, and then we're going to talk about what to do if you're live streaming, because of course when you're live streaming, you want to be pushing the volume to the max. So we're going to do something a little bit different once we start live streaming. I'll also explain why I record quiet and live stream loud and talk about adding some things to make sure you don't distort or clip or ruin your recordings in this video. So stick around to the end because there's going to be some really useful and important information in this so you don't ruin your recordings. And hey, hit that like and subscribe. Thanks. So most USB microphones are going to have a little knob on them where you turn it up to adjust the gain. And there's going to be some little indicators. And normally, not always, but normally you're going to see green, orange, and red. If you're in the green, you know you're good. If you're in the orange, you know you're kind of pushing it a little bit. And if you're hitting red, your microphone is turned up too loud and it's distorting and clipping. For example, every time I talk, you're going to see this turn green. So basically, you want to turn the gain knob up until you see green. And when you see it start to turn orange or yellow, you know you're kind of getting a little bit loud. But if you see that turn red, you got major problems. Your recording software is also going to have some sort of loudness indicator and you need to pay very close attention to that as well. Now, if you take a look at this microphone, this does not have a proper meter on it, but right here is a little light. And if that lights up, that means it is clipping and distorting. You never want to see that light up. So that has a clipping indicator. So if it's just got one single light, when that lights up, that means bad, you are too loud. Now, sometimes it will have a constant green light and then it turns orange or red when it clips, or sometimes they don't light up at all and then it just lights up when you clip. So I guess those can work in a couple of different ways, but that's basically what to look for to make sure you're not too loud on a USB microphone. Now, this audio interface has something a little different. It's got little bars that light up. And if I see that I'm getting into that yellow or orange, you know, I know I'm pushing it a little bit. And if it hits that very top bar, it turns red. And that means, no, you are distorting. That is bad. So every audio interface and every microphone is going to have something different, but they're all going to basically have the same type of indicator to let you know that, hey, you're too loud or you're okay. So what it really boils down to is you plug the microphone in, you turn up the gain knob on the interface or the microphone until you see it starting to hit the orange every once in a while in your normal speaking voice. And then you kind of turn it down a little bit. Or if you're playing a guitar, you want to make sure it stays in the green most of the time. There is something else very important you have to look at, which is the loudness meter on your, your uh, recording software. So if you take a look at this, you're going to see my recording software, and there's this little mic aux bar, and you're seeing that's hitting around minus 20 decibels. Sometimes it's getting up a little closer to 15. Normally, that's where you want to have it. You want to see your peaks, the loudest part, sometimes going over 20, but never really going over 15. That's kind of normally the sweet spot, in my opinion. Now, if you're live streaming, you're going to want to turn this up to max. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But for regular recordings, after the recording is finished and you put it on your editing software or your digital audio workstation to edit the audio, you can turn that up to the proper volume later. It's better to record quiet than too loud, clip and distort and have to scrap an entire recording. So if you're live streaming and you want to push your volume to max to make sure your stream is loud enough and not too quiet, this is how you do it. Now, if you're streaming on OBS or Streamlabs, you're going to have to add some gain and a limiter. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you do is you come over here to where your little microphone is. You're probably going to see these three bars. Click on that. Find filters. Click on filters. It's going to pull this thing up here. Click on this little plus button. The first thing we're going to do is add gain. And we're going to hit OK. Now, as I turn this up, it's going to make me much louder. But we need to have something on here to make sure we never go past zero. So we're going to do that again. We're going to hit the little plus button. And we are going to add a limiter. We're going to hit OK. And we're going to set that limiter to about minus two. That's about the most you want to go to. It's about minus two. And now when we crank this gain up, and I'm going to have to turn this down because this is going to get really loud. So check, check, check. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And you're going to notice that I'm going to crank this up to there's about plus 17 a gain. And you're going to see that it's hitting almost at zero on this little red bar down here, which means I am very, very, very close to clipping and going over. And this limiter should actually stop that from happening. That way it never distorts. But there's two things you got to think about here. 
your audio interface can distort or the microphone can distort if you have it up too loud or your recording software can clip and distort if you have that up too loud. Nobody wants to sit there and record for an hour or two just to play it back and then to find out it's a distorted mess and you have to scrap the whole thing and start over. And you can also use VST plugins as well on OBS or Streamlabs. Now, for example, when I'm streaming on Streamlabs, I'm running a, a, a compressor, a de an equalizer, and a limiter. These are VST plugins. These are aftermarkets. I love fab filter plugins. I love wave plugins. I love SSL plugins. Unfortunately, SSL and fab filter plugins are very expensive, but wave plugins are very nice and affordable. And I do have an affiliate link to where you can get some really awesome waves plugins in the video's description or the pinned comment on this video. But the streaming software usually does have its own filters built in. They're nowhere near as good as the third party VST plugins, but they do the job if you don't have any third-party VST plugins. Now, when I'm recording, I don't add any plugins to the recording. I wait till I'm done with the recording and I put it on the editing software, and that's when I run the plugins because let's just say you have a plugin that's messed up and you have a setting wrong. That can actually completely wreck your recording. Now, when I'm live streaming, I can listen to the live stream and monitor it. And if I hear there's something wrong, I can fix the VST plugins or the settings quickly during the live stream to get it back on track. But sometimes you can't necessarily do that on the recording. So it's always better to record without the effects and then add them later after the recording's done and you're doing your video editing. Like I said, not all microphones go by this, but most of them do. If you see green on the audio interface or the microphone's loudness meter, you know you're okay. If you see red, that is very, 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 very bad. So I do have another video that shows you how to get on your audio or video editing software and get your volume to the correct level for YouTube or Spotify or this or that. So you might want to check that out. That's going to pop up on the screen right now. And I do use DaVinci Resolve for audio and video editing because that's a program that can do both. It's free or there's a paid version. The free version is almost as good. But if you don't have a good editor that allows you to adjust audio, check out uh, DaVinci Resolve made by Blackmagic. It is awesome. The video that shows you how to get proper volume is just about to pop up on the screen. So make sure you click on that. And if you drop down the video's description or check the pinned comment, you'll find the affiliate links. There's going to be some ways to help support the channel, my Discord server, my other YouTube channels, and a whole bunch of other stuff you might want to check out. So drop down that video's description, click on this video up here, and have a great day. Catch you later. See ya.